Hey Tony, this is Mark. I'm going to do a walk around on the bike for you and uh, we can do another one then tomorrow when you're ready in the evening. So first off, here's the cases. I'll just start from one corner work my way around. What I'd like to show you about the cases is there's a keyhole up here. Uh, there is a key on the key ring and you twist that and then here is a little handle that pops up and you just peel that up. You reach in like that and you peel it up and then the case comes right off. There is a lock uh, that you can put on there and I'm actually going to put the um, charger into there, the Cripple Creek, so that's where it'll be. Okay, um, let's get up real nice and close. Starting from the back. The license plate will stay. The inspection on it is current, good for you. Uh, let's see. Very, very clean. See no damage. And the sides, there's the carbon fiber underbelly. Now, one thing I wanted to show you is this. Buy some of these. These are T-handles. Just about anything you want to do on this bike can be done with like a 3, a 5, and a 10 millimeter T-handle. So, for instance, if you want to get under the covers, you just stick that in there and twist. Off it comes. One, two, three of those. There's a couple. There's one right there. There's one right there, and you'll also need to take that screw off, which is bigger. I think it might be a 10 millimeter. And, uh, and then the whole side comes off and you can get it all the electronics. Okay, you can see the condition of the tires, the radiator, carbon fiber front panel. This is uh, incidentally one of my sponsors on my race cars, uh, he's greater than I. It's from the Bible. You can peel it off if you don't want it. Uh, let's see, the Brembo brakes, of course. You can see this panel. It's flawless. A lot of people have been talking about painting these, you know, making them all one color. That's pretty easy. This one here, side panel down there, flawless as well. There's the chain. The chain was adjusted when I did the uh, service at um, 2,000 miles at the dealer. Uh, there's the back bag. Let's go up to the front here. I guess one thing when you get this in a minute, let me know if you want the mirror um, extensions that are on here from Rizoma. Uh, I found that the mirrors were running into my arms. Uh, I could only see about halfway around my arms, and so the mirror extenders made a real good rear view. Now, I'm six foot and weigh 215 pounds, and so that's what I've got the suspension on the bike set for. Um, I'll send you an email, but if you'll let me know, you know, what your weight is, uh, I'll go ahead and either return it back to normal or leave it where it is if you're somewhere near me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. You can see all the test lights have completed. Now, here's how you control everything. This is the mode button, left or right, and press in to select. So, let's look at this. I'm going to go left. There's a lap timer if you're doing that kind of thing. This is a little bit like a Tesla. It's giving you the power usage, average usage. Another way to read it. And then here's the main screen. Got the temperature, got the time, what mode you're in. Okay, so this is the mode button. There's the brights. Uh, there's the horn. But another one you want to know is this one right down here that says set. And let me show you why. So go back to the screen and press the set button, and you get this. Now you just use this button. And you can go on the left side, you'll change it from echo mode to urban, terrain, to sport. 
obviously I'll leave it on sport. And then you press S. ABS on or off. And let me turn it back on. So on the right-hand side, if you push the mode button to the right, you got off, low, medium, high. Uh, that's the regeneration. I like to keep it on medium myself. Um, but if you're riding like high on the freeway going 70, 80 miles an hour, um, a lot of people keep it on high because then you get the maximum regen whenever you're slowing down. You, don't, you hardly ever use the brakes on this bike. That's one of the neat things about it. Now, let me just point out, it's 97% charged. It's showing 69 miles. I want you to know that one of the reasons why the miles are 69 is because the last several times I rode it, I was averaging over 70 miles an hour. If I was averaging around town, you know, sometimes 40, sometimes 50, sometimes 60, the miles would be over 100. Um, but instead, it's 69 because it's reading my last two long rides, which were highway miles. So I'm going to go ahead and do a show you a cold start. So I'm going to put my hand on the engine right here. You can see it's ice cold. I'm not getting burned. Okay, so now what you do when you're ready to ride, make sure you put the cutout switch on. You hold in the brake, and then you press that button right there. And when you've done that, you see the green light that it's just popped on right there? That's your go. Now, the bike is in reverse right now. See how it says R? So if you press this button again, it'll go to forward. So this is two miles an hour. So like moving in and out of the garage or a parking space, you press the button again, you get reverse and reverse is really cool to have. So just hold everything like that and then it'll switch back to go. And then just flip it. So as you can see, it runs. And I think that is about it. Oh, charging. I'm going to turn it off. So we're going right under here. And there it is. See the key in the middle? Key in there. Twist it. There's the charging plug. So you can use a standard, I'll show you the charger. You can show a standard 120 J1770 plug. This is what goes into it. I'm sending you. This will charge it up overnight. Another thing you can do, if you have a Tesla or a Tesla charger when you're traveling, buy one of these cables on Amazon. The... Um, The J1770 goes right on that end, and, excuse me, I said it wrong. Tesla charger, Tesla plug goes in that end. That's J770 on that end, and you'll get a lot faster 3 kilowatt charging rate, which will charge the bike up in about three hours to four hours, depending on if it's empty. So that is about it. Uh, I will throw in there uh, the owner's manual. I don't think I have any other accessories to send along with it, so... That's pretty much it. Just let me know when you're ready to do the video. Well, I guess we have one scheduled for tomorrow. Thank you, buddy.